Many large gatherings and events have been canceled or rescheduled this year due to the COVID-19 pandemic. According to Prestonsburg Mayor Les Stapleton, the city's annual 4th of July event will continue as planned. Our guys have put a lot of effort into it last year and we actually ordered our fireworks in October. Uh, some of our fireworks were specially made for the city of Prestonsburg, so we can't store them because we don't know how quickly they would degrade, which would cause a mess, so we're going to shoot them. And uh, we encourage people to come out, but we encourage them also to use caution when they come out. Uh, stay in your family units. Uh, we strongly urge people to wear a mask if they're outside of the family unit and there's a lot of people in the immediate area. Uh, we encourage them strongly to wear a mask. Uh, a lot of times we've had people just sort of running in and out of groups. I'm not so sure that's a good idea this year. Uh, we have to be conscious of everyone's safety. Not just mine, not just yours, or not just the next guy, but everyone's safety. And every decision we make, like have the fireworks, like have the carnival, is it the right decision? You know, you second guess yourself on a regular basis, but you have to move forward. And we're trying our best to stay within the guidelines of uh, anything that's been uh, put out as restrictions or anything, and we are. But we are going to move forward. We're going to try to open up and give people stuff to do. What a lot of people don't realize is when some people are isolated like this, you know, depression sets in. Um, we have seen an increase in some overdoses. Uh, we've some, we have seen some uh, suicides and suicide attempts. And, and, you know, this is the type of stuff that just people getting outside and, and you don't have to interact, just being around other people can help. And that's why we feel, that's one of the reasons we feel we need to move forward is uh, we've been locked up long enough. Uh, we need to start getting out with caution now, with caution and get people out into the world again. Uh, basically, uh, uh, re-socialize people. Carnival will be moving in on the second, I think it is. Maybe the first, but probably the second. And they'll be setting up. It's gonna be sort of uh, separated, uh, smaller kids' rides and bigger kids' rides. And there's gonna be social distancing. Your temperature will be taken when you enter the park area. Uh, and if you have a temperature of 100.4 or above, uh, we will ask you to not come into the park. That what CDC? That's the temperature they say. That's the that's the line marker right there. So uh, we're going to do everything we can to keep people safe. The the rides will be wiped down. They will be uh, hand sanitizing stations. We're going to do everything we can to make this event as safe as we can. And we'll have a couple people walking around, you know, telling people to you know try to spread out a little bit because what we don't want to be is we don't want to be that, that group that, oh yeah, well, two weeks ago, that, that's what happened. We don't want to be that group. So we're going to do everything we can to keep that from happening. See, ours are shot from the top of a mountain. And then we have these big shots that we have, the 16 inch shots that we have, they go a lot higher than uh, normal fireworks. So uh, they actually have to make a call to the FAA and say, look, we're going to be shooting these fireworks at this level and stuff. So people can avoid flying through there. Uh, low-flying aircraft could be in danger. Yeah, and you can see all the way at the Mountain Art Center, you can see all the way up and down 23 between the two mountains. I mean, you, you'll be able to see this show. Hey, come out and join us safely. Come out and join us. Reporting from Archer Park in Prestonsburg, Kentucky, I'm Jeremy Justice with your Mountaintop News.